This is turning out nice. Been cutting, staining, and assembling railing. So, kind of the way I'm doing this, got my half post here, which I had to attach to the rail first, and then kind of set that, pin it to the wall, and then do the spindles and the shoe plate, the shoe rail, and then set this post and attach the rail to the post from the inside. A couple screws down in there. And that's where this little right angled drill attachment comes in super handy. All right, as you can see, I've got the first section of rail finished. I wanted to start on that small four foot section first just to figure out what I was doing and come up with a sort of a process because I've never done this. And it turned out really good. I uh, love the way it looks. The leftover spindles or uh, ba balusters from the aluminum railing we did on the porch and deck, they look really good. So I got lucky there. Usually those are, these can be like eight bucks a piece. I need, I don't know, a little over a hundred of them. So I saved a bunch of money there. And making the new posts myself saved eight, over a thousand dollars by doing that myself. I don't know what an actual staircase costs by a professional finished carpenter, but I'm sure it's in the tens to $15,000. And uh, yeah, I'm not doing that. So this part, I'm gonna work on the wall and go that way next. And this is the shoe rail board. And this is what goes on the ground, on the floor. And then you drill your holes for the pickets. Uh, you can do a shoe rail that's off the ground. Uh, but I don't want to do that. I'm, I'm going right into the floor. So I have a place for my flooring to terminate, and then I'll trim the other side against that wall with a piece of trim. So first, uh, got to lay out my holes here. This board's 87 inches long, so I'm going to take the center of that. Got my four foot straight edge here, and we're going to go line this up in the center of this board. Okay, so that's going to be the center mark. Now code says you have to have, you cannot fit a four inch sphere between the balusters. So it's gotta be, they've gotta be close enough together so a baby can't stick his head through it and get stuck basically. I'm going like four and three eighths on center. That way once the balusters in there, they take up some space and it's like three and three quarter inch space. So I'm well within code and it looks good. So I'm gonna step off four and three eighths I get to the end on each side and that will make the end ones spaced the same and that's what we want you don't want to start from one end and go to the other because then you could end up with just weird looking space and it doesn't match that start in the center and go each way all right now i've got the handrail uh, laying on top of the shoe rail here and then another easy way to lay out your uh, holes is find your center and use a compass so if my spacing is four and three eighths space it apart four and three eighths, start at the center, and just walk it. All right, so I'm drilling the holes in the shoe rail. I'm using a three quarter spade bit, and I wanna go down a half inch, so I put a little flag on it, and I just drill till that flag touches. Try to keep it as uh, plumb as possible. But so far that's working really well and it's a lot faster than trying to fiddle with the uh, drill press. So I'm going to do the handrail now. now. This one is a lot more challenging because I have to drill and it's, it's laying on a round part. Make a little jig to hold this thing tight. That sucker's not going anywhere. All right, I got the rail propped up to the proper height and the post is set against it. Everything's clamped. So I'm gonna try and pre-drill uh, for this. This will be a middle post. So I'm gonna try and get two screw holes in here. I'll try to do all this before I stain it so I know where I gotta go. 
I've got the rail marked. So I can pre-drill my final holes. Got the next section done. Turned out pretty good. This was a little easier than the first section. As you saw, I, I set the rail and the half post at the same time like I did before, but this time I kind of set the pickets. Since this uh, wet set PL Premium takes a good while to set up, I was able to you know, glue it up and then work the pickets in, get it set, get everything done and pinned and now that PL Premium will dry like concrete. The one over here, it's been sitting a couple of days now. It's like, it's solid, won't move. Got this uh, cap cut and kind of down fitted to size. Looks like it's gonna work out pretty good. Might have to do a little bit of work on it, but I'm not gonna set it until I get that section done because I have to screw in this way into the railing. I'm gonna cut the parts for this section and then pull the posts and everything off and get everything stained but I'm not going to set the rest of this rail till we get a big desk moved up here. I don't want to have to hit that post for uh, hauling the desk up. That'll be the biggest piece of furniture that will come up here. Everything else will kind of be built in place. We're going to do built-ins over here and that's about it. So I'm working on getting that desk unburied in our storage container. So in the next couple days we're going to get that up here and continue this railing. able to get the second piece of level rail installed. Everything solid. Turned out really nice. And started on this stair rail. And I ended up spending a couple hours yesterday trying to drill these holes. Three quarter inch hole using a spade bit into solid oak. Kind of difficult, but we got her. So now I'm going to try and get this thing assembled and button this project up. I think it's done. 
couple little areas that need touched up with stain and some wood filler, but man, this was the most tedious project I've attempted on this build so far, trying to get these angles, get the holes drilled so everything's plumb, get the angles of the, <laughs> the banister or the rail cut right to where that sits. It was, I was pulling my hair out a little bit. But it turned out so nice. Like it's a, exactly what I envisioned. I wanted just plain square, beefy looking posts, dark rail, match the ceiling. These balusters that were left over from the outside railing <laughs> work perfect. I'm so happy this is over. But I gotta do the basement handrail, but that's gonna be super easy because it's just those brackets come out of the wall where I put blocking into the wall. So it's just a wall handrail. That's one more thing off the list for getting our certificate of op occupancy. Uh, I can't remember what else is left. I have to hook up the sinks, have to have a working kitchen sink and a, one working bathroom. So we have to wait for countertops for that. So that guy's supposed to be out here this week to template and uh, we're moving along, so I'd say, depending on supplies and available labor, we're about eight weeks out. Don't quote me on that. Anyway, another project in the books. Thanks for watching, we appreciate it. We'll see you next time.